after importing the data, we have to explore the data, which we usually call it as an exploratory data analysis. Here, you can see various options, summary, distributions, correlation, principal components, and interactive. Let's talk about summary. We begin our exploration of data with a basic summary option, which provides a textual overview of data. It includes min, quartiles, mean, max for numerics and top level for factors. So let's execute it and see what's the output. So these are the basic summaries. So you can see the observation. This is your output, min, first quartile, median, main, third quartile, and max of every individual variable. Next one is describe. If you want to describe the variable with missing value, unique value, sum, mean, and the lowest and the highest values, you can go with the describe. You can select both the options. You can select almost all the options. But for better understanding, I'm just deselecting the summary and executing this. You can see what is the description. You have 22 variables and 256 observations for min time. So n is equal to 256. Missing. How many is missing? There is no missing value. Distinct value, which are unit value and other informations like mean, median, everything. You can see the various observations for describe. It is showing it almost for all the variable which we have. Usually, if it is a numerical value, it will show mean, median, and everything. And if it is a categorical value, it will show like this, frequency, proportion, and the value. We'll see the next one. Next one is a basics, like various basic measures of numeric data. So what are the basic measures of numeric data? Like min, what is the minimum value? What is the maximum value? What is skewness? What are kurtosis? And few basic thing, those will be evaluated. So you can deselect the describe here and execute to see the output. So these are the basic statistics for each numeric variable of the data set. You can see what are the basic evaluation of the data. For the stem 3 p.m., I'm just showing you the example. So what are the various thing it has calculated? Okay. Okay, so next one is kurtosis. So kurtosis is comparison of skewness. It is like a measure of the nature of the peaks in the distribution of data. So kurtosis summarizes just the kurtosis, which is useful for comparison between all numeric valuable variables at once. So click here and execute to see what is a kurtosis. So this is your data summary. Next one is skewness. If you see skewness, it's a summary, just the skewness. So it is useful com for comparing between all numerical values at once. So skewness basically is a measure of how asymmetrically our data is distributed. Let's see what is the output for skewness. So it is always, if it is positive, means the right tail is longer. And if it is negative, means the left tail is longer. longer. This is a skewness value. And next one is, if you want to generate what are the missing values in your data, you can just click show missing and execute it. 
So these are the missing variables, variable values in your data. So this is your variable min temp and for max temp, how many values are missing, rainfall and everything. And next one is cross tab. This is actually used to generate a cross tabulation for each categorical value. So far we have seen also for the string like numbers now it will generate for the categorical values so this is the cross tabulation which are generated for the categorical values next we are going to talk about distributions distributions is to show how your data in a graphical format so here you can see that it by itself it has segregated your variable according to the categorical variable and the numerical variable so these are the numerical variables and these are the categorical variables and it is showing what are the various possible visualization technique it can generate for example with min temp you can generate a box plot histogram, cumulative, Benford and pars. These are applicable for numerical variables. And if you see here, these are applicable for categorical variables. So bar plot, dot plot, mosaic, pars. And here in numerical variable, you can see min, median, mean and max. Whereas in variables like a categorical variable, you can see the levels. Okay, let us see how it is exactly creating the visualization. I'm just clicking rainfall here and I'm executing this. If you see, this will be generated in your R. Don't expect the visualization will be created in your rattle. Since rattle is a package which is built on R, Whatever the output which you want as a visualization will be displayed in R. Okay. So now I'm trying to see sunshine as a histogram. And if I execute it, you can see the histogram here. And why it is showing rain tomorrow based on? Because in group by, I have shown like you, I have to group it by rain tomorrow or not. If you want to change this, you can also change this. And if you execute, it will show it rain today or not. So what does this graph is all about? It is showing that sunshine weather, if there is a sunshine, it will rain today or not. For that, it has generated the histogram. So let's see how it is visualizing a categorical value so just click here and execute you can see a bar plot and if I click here and click execute it will create a mosaic plot before doing this you should know the basics of visualization like what is a box plot and what are the various labels or data you want to generate it for a box plot, histogram, cumulative, pen food and pass. So these are the basic understanding of the plots and visualization techniques. And also you should know how to create the charts for categorical value. And here you can save this so if you click this and click this export option and you have two options like one is save as image or save as pdf so if you click save as image it will ask you the directory name you can select any directory where you wish to save it so once you click save it will be saved you can also copy it to clipboard. 
So these are the various options where you can create and visualize the data which you have. You have various options here as well, like annotate. If, if you want to include numerical values within the plots, you can just click annotate. And if you want bars, plot instead of lines, you can just click bars. Okay. And just click this. And if you execute it, you can see a difference in the visualization. 